Hi, I'm Richard McElvin. And I'm David Zucker. And welcome to Matt's Amazing! We've worked uh, a long time to make a school program based on things that are conceptual as opposed to storytelling. Yeah. And trying to make math theatrical. Oh. Do you even know your multiplication tables? Of course I know my multiplication tables. You do? Yes, I do a try me. All right. Try me. Uh, four times three. Uh, Twelve. Twelve <laughs> times two. Twenty-four. <laughs> Seven times thirteen. Twenty-eight. What are you talking about? Seven times thirteen is not twenty-eight. Yes, it is. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Mr. Chandler, seven times 13 is 28. Now you're going to add all that up and come up with 28. That's all it's going to make. And put the line. OK, here's the line. Go ahead. OK, you add the threes. Me? You go ahead. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28! Yes! Ha! What we hope is that the show uh, excites them about math and it motivates them to go back to their books, to awaken in them an interest in pursuing math and math concepts. I have a question for you guys. Tell me, how many of you here really love your math class? Yeah, you just can't wait to get in there, dive into problems with multiplication, you. Excellent. division. Now, how many of you have a hard time with math? Honest. Yeah, and you think a lot of us. Yeah, and yeah, you think yeah, they're in the back too. Yeah, and you think wow, oh, I'm the only one who's not getting it. Good. Well, the tools we use that the teachers won't have in their classroom are uh, role playing big time. We play historical figures. Ha! Math genius! Ha ha! Where'd you come from? Ha! I don't know. I'm eating a spice and meat the bowl, and I hear somebody eats a math genius song. We reenact historical events, significant events in the history of math. Uh, we do some live experimentation, which the teachers can do in their classroom, can repeat. Uh, we use storytelling. We use puppets. We I believe I know the height of the Great Pyramids. It is exactly 280 cubits high. Oh, uh, how do you know? Well, I measured its shadow. Well, the shadow has nothing to do with its height, only the position of the sun in the sky. Yes, but you will agree that at some point every day, everything's shadow is exactly as long as it is tall. Oh, well, yes, of course. Of course, of course. All right, so according to the law of proportion. A uh, what law of proportion? It's the one I'm just inventing right now. Oh, of course. We'd love to make the teacher's job easier so that when the kids go back into the classroom, they're really excited about these concepts. Look at the line between the park and the We call this the golden mean. What's the golden mean? Ah, that's the relationship between each number in our sequence. It's the most useful number in the world. And you find this everywhere. An iPod is made to the proportion of the golden mean. You go back to the Fibonacci rectangle. This is the formula for the perfect spiral which we find in the nature, in seashells. Oh, and you I, I can remember when I was a kid being very frustrated by math, but I can also remember great math teachers and some of the stories that they told me. And that's what I hope we're going to convey to the kids, is that excitement and enthusiasm for a story that actually has a connection to math.